Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about uh, an important topic in ECG because when you are dealing with ECG you are actually uh, going to be asked or you will even commit yourself in actually counting the heart rate because the most important aspect in interpretation of ECG is how to determine heart rate using the ECG. That is the heart rate, right? Using the ECG paper. So actually, we uh, as we are seeing here, this is lead one. This is how the lead one is recording is on. This is a normal ECG paper. This is for, for a normal person actually. This is lead two. This is lead three. Lead two, another lead two. And this is AVF, AVL, AVR. This is the chest lead. The V1, V2. So and so on and so forth. So actually, this is how the ECG paper uh, look like. And this is it. So. As I have said in, I think, the second video about uh, rhythm strip. When we say rhythm strip, it's actually a kind of the particular lead because we are having two lead here. If you can count them, we have two lead. So the most important lead to first look at in every ECG for, a, for every given uh, patient is actually looking at lead two. Just look, look at your lead two. You can choose. Here we have the two, two lead two. So you can choose either this one or this one. Definitely they will be the same. So let us uh, choose this, the bottom one. So this lead two, it is the first and the most important to look at first before looking at the rest of the uh, lead actually. So that is why it, the lead two is called rhythm strip actually. So that is it. So now for you to determine uh, a kind of uh, heart rate in a patient, uh, in a patient ECG, you have to first determine whether the, the heart rate of the person or the pulse rate is regular or irregular so how will you determine whether it is regular or irregular for example this is uh, for example this is the t wave this q wave r wave this is t wave so now i'm drawing the the regular for example just add them because it cannot be perfect So what I want to point here is the distance. This is even not perfect. So just add them. The distance between R to R interval has to be roughly the same. Roughly the same to, for you to determine to regard that particular rhythm as a uh, regular rhythm. The distance between R to R because this is R, this is R, another R. So the distance has to be roughly equal. If the distance are roughly equal between each successive R to R interval, so that means the particular uh, rhythm of that patient is actually regular. We can determine as as what regular. You can regard it as regular. But if to say, for example, we have our R here, and then we have another R here, and then it take another uh, long distance to take another R, then so the distance from here to here is not the same thing as the distance from here to here, right? It is not equal. So, and also to, to from here to here. So, then this it is regarded as an irregular rhythm. Because maybe here will be, for example, let's say one centimeter, for example. Maybe here will be five. Maybe here will be maybe two centimeter. So, this is, is not regular, right? But here, if to say from here to here is two centimeter, definitely here from here to here has to be two centimeter because the distance are equal from each successive r to r interval so if we can look at this actually uh this ecg paper you can see that this the distance uh, from here to here how much you can determine this distance by counting the number of large boxes this one two three four four boxes then count another from here to here again one two three four this is another four large boxes from here to here let's see one two three four another large four large boxes from here to here let's see one two three four so the distance from each successive r to r interval is actually the same so if it is the same actually that is for a regular rhythm then you can determine the height rate that is for for regular for a regular rhythm you can just determine the heart rate by dividing heart rate is equals to 300 divided by the number of large boxes. So now, as we see here, 
the number of large boxes between each success of r to r interval is 4 actually right so divided by 4 then 2 into 4 is 2 definitely 2 into 3 300 is 150 2 into 1 uh, 2 into 2 is 1 then 2 into uh, 150 will be definitely 75 so definitely the heart rate of this person is uh, 75 beat per minute so that is it this is for a regularism so how about if it is irregularism let us find another ECG which is uh, irregularism actually so we see here the, you, even obviously without counting the boxes you know this is irregular because see the distance from here to here it is definitely obviously not the same as the distance from here to here because this is more uh, having a narrow distance this is another also distance right so this is not regular actually so what you will do is you have to count six seconds how will you count six seconds actually you will count six seconds actually by determining by uh, you have to know that each large box is uh, each large box is 0 0.2 seconds as we have already seen in the previous videos each large box that is in the first video right right so each large uh, box is 0 0.2 seconds so how many large boxes will give you exactly six seconds so let us see definitely if uh, each large box is uh, 0 0.2 seconds that is from here to here is 0 0.2 seconds another from here to here is another 0 0.2 seconds so you have to count how many large boxes will cover up a kind of uh, six seconds definitely has to be that 30 large boxes right so 30 large boxes you have to count 30 large boxes here right because so how will we how will you uh, will you count 30 large boxes then one two three four five six seven eight 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 so unfortunately this is the end of uh uh this is the end of the ecg actually so it is not up to uh 30 large boxes so whatever the case is i want to, i definitely show this in order to show how irregular it is the this uh, ecg is so if you count the number of 30 large boxes actually so you have to then actually uh, determine how many QRS complex are there within that particular uh, 30, uh, 30 large boxes. For example, let's, let's just assume that this, with the boxes that we count here, they are up to 30. So you have to count how many QRS complex are we having in that particular uh, uh, large boxes, uh, in that particular, within that particular 30 large boxes. For example, let's say, we count the QRS complex. This QRS complex number one, two, three, another one, four. Let's say the large boxes here. We count they are more than six, and that is they are they are thirty. So, if they are thirty, how many QRS complex are there within that uh, thirty large boxes? Definitely, this is one, two, three, four. For example, do you have another one? No, we don't have another one. So four. Then you have to say four times ten. So definitely it will give you 40 bit per minute so this is for irregularism irregular this is for irregularism just get the concept yeah this is unfortunately the ecg paper is not large enough it is not like uh this one if it is this one we can count up to uh 30 large box 30 large boxes from here to here definitely they are even with maybe more than 30 so but for here it is they are not up to 30 right they are only 16 so just get the concept if you take uh if you can get the ecg that is having boxes that are up to larger uh, up to 30 uh, larger boxes which is big big paper right? like this one because this one it is we cannot use this one yeah we cannot use this one because this one is uh regular right or let us let us uh, use it actually so for example let let's say let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty so that is from here right to here we count thirty large boxes so we have to count how many qrs complex are we having within this thirty there's one two three four five six seven right so seven then seven times is it we, we have seven 
then 7 times 10 this 10 is constant we, have, we, we always use this 10 this 10 is constant it is there in the formula then 7 times 10 then 70 bit per minute but this one it will not give us uh, 75 because this one is not irregular because that formula this formula is for only irregular rhythm and but this is regular right so it will not give us as exactly as uh, the way it gave us before which is 75 I think right yeah 75 bit per minute so this is how to determine the heart rate for irregularism for irregularism it is just count uh, the number of uh, large boxes between each successive r to r interval maybe this is here we are having four then just divide 300 divided by four it will give you if it is for irregular we have already seen it so uh, this is the end of the video thank you very much